Hey everybody, it's Outdoorsman456 here. I'm just bringing you another gear review. This is the, as you can see, Eureka Downrange Solo One Man Backpacking Tent. Now I bought this last year around springtime. Got to use a little bit late last summer. Just kind of breaking it out in the front yard here as you can see. Um, getting it cleaned out and hoping to get some early spring backpacking in. So let's take a quick look at it. Now this is a TCOP tent, which means it's a military tent. Now this is the civilian version, so the colors are a little bit different and the material is a little bit different, but just like a military tent, it's way overbuilt. It has two vestibules, which are great for gear on one side and maybe your shoes or even your dog on the other. Um, and we'll go, in, go into it a little bit more, but you could fit two people in here if you were really freezing cold or if you were really good buddies or if you, you wanted to fit your girlfriend in here with you and just say it was a two-man tent. That would work too. So let's take a look on the exterior first. As you can see, it looks kind of like, like an igloo. I don't have any of the tie-downs set up yet, just the basic tent. And what I really like about this is how the rain flag goes on now you have the poles in the exterior which are really nice but you have these oops don't want to get my finger in the way that's what she said you have these really nice vents that lead directly inside and here in washington we get a lot of damp weather even in summer you'll wake up in the morning on a completely sunny day and your entire exterior of your tent will just be coated with mist and that gets everywhere if you're not careful. So I really like that because it kind of cuts down on what you get on the inside which if you have a really cheap tent like I've unfortunately had in the past you get a lot of mist, a lot of dampness and you have this really wet feeling when you wake up. And it's, it's not fun when you're out in the middle of nowhere so let's go around to the other side. Now there's a door on each side, which is nice, except it's a one-man tent. So Eureka, why did you do that? Well, let's go over here. So you have the vestibule, and I mean, that's that's pretty good size. You can fit a, a backpack in there. I have a Teton Sport 90 liter, and that kind of fits in there just right. And you know, it's great for gear and other, other whatnot. Now we can pop our heads inside. And what you can see by the exterior of this door is it is gigantic. Which is really nice when you're trying to crawl in and out. And especially, you can roll the door up and stick it in this little compartment. And now, you have a huge opening. So we'll go ahead and get down inside of here if I can with a camera. And a lot of people don't like one-man tents because they don't think they can fit in it. Now, I'm about 6'1", and I have about 6 inches on the bottom of my feet, and if I lay all the way down, I got like 6 inches up there. So that's plenty of room. And when I go car camping, I have a nice sleeping bag, a couple couple pads and my pillow I bring from home because I'm a pillow snob and everything fits in here just right top of the pillow gets a little bit a little bit cold but hey it's camping so as you can see we have this other door that goes all the way up and around which is really nice because I normally keep one side open with the vestibule shut and I can put my shoes in there and it just provides a little bit more of a breeze, which keeps me nice and cool. And you have this gear hanger, which is really nice. So normally, I'll have a flashlight in here. I put a little 22 short Beretta. It was my great grandma's that I take with me camping. And it fits in there nice and snug and works just fine. And one more thing that just keeps all the moisture out is you can see these poles. Now this is the top of the tent, in between the tent and the fly. And you can see these poles 
are a good mm, four inches for the tent. So there's no way that moisture is going to get in this tent by direct contact, which is nice. And I'll tell you a quick story. I was backpacking in the Goat Rocks last year, and it was September 1st. I thought it was going to be nice weather. Well, it was 32 and pouring down rain on the top of the mountain. And I had an Ozark Trails, as you know, Walmart crap tent that I brought for fair weather. And I got soaked because it's just one shell. There's no rain fly or anything except for the little window on the top. And I got soaked. And it was not fun. So after that, next spring, I splurged and bought myself a nice new tent. And this is this is a bit expensive for your entry level backpacking tent, but it's it's awesome. I paid one ninety nine for it on Amazon. Couldn't beat the price, um, and I'm really happy with it. It packs down without the patching kit or the carry bag packs down to about four pounds and I lost the carry bag well somebody in my house lost the carry bag so I got to cut down on the weight comes with a nice patching kit and you can stake it down and you can get through just about any conditions in this it's classified as classified as a three season tent but it'll work for for winter as long as as long as you put a, a footprint on it, as you can see, it does not come with one, but I like to use a, a sheet of Tyvex. Now, you can buy it on Amazon that actually has the, the tent pegs in it, like a 5x7, and that works incredible. It's not quiet, but it is incredible. So, I'm going to have a review on my channel in a couple weeks about my sleeping bag. It, I'll give you a little hint. It's a Voodoo Tactical Zero Degree. And I'll explain to you why I bought it and what my impressions are after using it for backpacking and, and camping. So again, this is Outdoorsman456, and see y'all soon.